Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Y'all probably gonna see this after um, Mother's Day, but happy Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day morning. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Mama T, aka, oh no, it's your girl, Terry D on, aka Mama T, and I'm back with another video, y'all. It is Sunday, it is Mother's Day. I'm about to go to church. I'm gonna show y'all what I have on. Mama T has gained so much weight. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is like a little dress. It ain't no little dress, that's for sure. But it's a dress I have on. Um, I got these little wedge heels on today. And um, this is the only thing I fit today. It was dark, I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe I should go in my bathroom and show y'all. I don't wanna wake up so long. Let me see if this bathroom mirror is clean in the hallway. I decided to come to my bathroom and show y'all. It's probably a little fuzzy. But this is just like a flowy dress, nothing tight on you. Um, I need to clean my camera, y'all. I'm sorry. But that's the dress. This is the dress I have on. It um is really roomy. has plenty of room in it. Because I had gained some weight. I'm a little bit sad about it. I gotta get it together. But happy Mother's Day and welcome to the video. My vlog today, because y'all know my girl has been here over a week. And I have been... Having so much fun with my baby. She been having fun. We've been having such a good time. But um, I have not been able to. I still been studying every morning. But it's just been not as um, much as I've been doing. So once she leaves, I'll be back to like um, studying more. Spending more time with the Lord. So what I'm going to do is. Um, but see, we've been like doing stuff. Get my hair braided. You know, we went out of town once. So we will be back and focus so i'm gonna vlog today we probably we might go out to eat i don't know yet if we're going out to eat y'all i think we are we'll just we'll see but um pretty got her little cute dress on let me show y'all pretty real quick they're all pretty in her dress pretty she said hey mama <laughs> hello beautiful people all right pretty said hey happy mother's day again mama Thank you. <laughs> all right it's dark but we are literally late so we gotta go and i will talk back with y'all a little bit later all right, y'all, so we are leaving church. Church was so good. Um, the assistant pastor preached, Pastor Hill, and he preached. He preached on Moses, two moms, was really good, wonderful word, and we enjoyed service. So we might stop by my uncle's house and visit him because he had surgery, and then we're going to try to get something to eat. Oh, let me show y'all. Well, I won't show y'all. Maybe next time. You cannot have a life on ground kids. How much times I got to tell you this? <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey is over here acting, y'all. Oh, okay, okay, Aubrey. Yeah, pretty good, Mom Walker. thing, but not you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I will. I will show you. Ain't nobody scared of you in that little stick, in that cute little skirt. Well, they will be when I grow up. Guys, I want to show you guys the flowers that Ethan got me. They're so pretty, and Salam got me some too. Look, guys. These are my cards so far. They're beautiful roses. Mom got me these flowers. I'm so happy. I wanted some fresh flowers this week, and now I don't have to go buy them. Oh, those are beautiful here, too. So pretty. All right, y'all. Y'all, I'm so sad. Y'all want to stay one more day, babe? Say bye to the beautiful people. Until next time. Y'all, I'm sad. I'm like, my baby is gone. Yesterday, her and Ethan and they went bowling. They went bowling. And I did not go. But I didn't go. And I just wanted, you know, them to have some fun before they left. So I didn't really film a lot on Mother's Day, but so, um, I didn't. I went to church with my mama, went a couple places with her, and then she went to go, like, visit, um, I know she went to go see Aaliyah, and she went bowling with Ethan, 
So she, when she got home last night, this was the only day that me and her really weren't together. So when she got home last night, it was late. It was like 11. So she tried to come in here with me and like watch something, but I was sleeping and she was sleeping. But my child is gone and I am sad about it. Mm. Yep. I miss her already. When she left, at, before we prayed, she left. I saw her box on the floor for her phone. I called her. Is this your white box? Yes, yeah, she had to come right back. Closed the door. Called her. Saw her camera. Grabbed her camera. She came right back. I said, if you leave something else, you might as well stay. <laughs> but she left, y'all. I'm just sad. It's just back to that. Where you just, you know, I don't know. I just, like, what, like, Salam is, we have fun together. Ethan comes out more when Salam is home. Um, I mean, he still comes out when she's not home, but I know he just really enjoys his sister when she comes home. I ne I didn't get to cook that big breakfast that I was going to cook. I was going to make, um, I was going to make biscuits, potatoes. But Saturday, we went and got our hair done, and then Sunday, we went to church, and then today, she gone. So, I wanted to make one last big breakfast. We had pancakes and French toast, so I wanted to make um, biscuits and potatoes. And I wanted to make it for my mama, but we didn't just we didn't get a chance to. My mama wanted to get something to eat yesterday, and we got to church, so we just grabbed something and came home and ate. But... Y'all see me sleeping with this stuff on. Y'all know I don't be sleeping with these um, hair things on, child. But I'm trying to protect this, protect the style. And I'm focused on my hair right now, y'all. I'm trying to focus on getting this hair healthy. I don't know if I'm going to wear braids for long. But I'm not wearing these six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks, so. I got them done in May. July. July they coming out. The beginning of July they coming out. Um, nine or three months. Six to eight weeks. And they're beautiful. But I just really want to protect my hair. I might put this back on in a minute. Because I'm not doing nothing today. When I tell you I'm not doing nothing, I'm not doing nothing today, y'all. Um. Yeah, I'm probably going to put these, my head thing back on. They never really hurt. I mean, they're, they're a little tight. But that's why I wanted to go to them, these girls, because um, they don't break out your hair. And my daughter used to go to them before Salam started. Um, it was so funny. I was like, wow, y'all. I said, um. Salam, when Salam first started going to them, I was paying for her hairdo. Like, I was getting their hair done. I was getting her hair done by them. And it was like $90, $95. I will never forget. She was like in the 11th grade or 10th or 11th grade. And she met those girls. And baby, them prices don't go on up. But they're still pretty. These are, um, they're 200 And I'm appreciative. But you know, the children got to make a living, honey. It's what they do full time. They do their hair. And their their mothers, their wives. I was like, wow. I think they were like a year older than Salam. But I'm about to probably put this back on. Why does weight come on you so fast? Can somebody explain that to me, please? Like, you, gonna, Mama T, can, you can gain some weight. I can gain some weight, baby, real fast. Like, I was just 201 pounds in November. Was it November? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's May. Now it's May and I am so far from 201. It's so annoying, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Weight comes on me so fast. <sighs> I'm not doing nothing today. I'm not doing absolutely anything today. The only reason why I just put this little dress back on 
And no, it's not Christmas time. It is definitely May. I just never put these two dresses back up in my um. Normally, I put my stuff up on top of my closet, but since so I moved and I switched um closets, all my Christmas stuff is still in my closet in my other room. <sighs> so these two were in there, and I just kept them. Just kept them. They're very comfortable. I got these from um Gabe's two years ago. Gabe's, yeah. But um I guess I'm gonna eat my seafood up. We got Saturday, it's Monday, right? It's Monday, so yeah, this today the third day, so I better go ahead and eat it. Cause you can't eat you shouldn't eat that stuff after a few days. My mom would be scared to eat it the very next day with like seafood. But not me, baby. I'm about to eat like a few pieces of Shrimp potatoes and corn. I'm gonna eat them real quick. Um, it's not meant for me to finish you. It just fell. It just fell. So I just saw what happened. And I, I look, th let me tell you the type of person I am. I'm the type of person that I don't get too bent out of shape when things like this happen because I feel like, you know what, probably wasn't meant for me to have it. Might have just been too much sodium in that stuff for Mama T today. So, you know what, it's thrown away. I didn't shed a tear. The most irritated I was that I had to clean it up. But I, I got it cleaned up and I'm about to clean this oven. I wiped it all out, but I don't, oh, I need to wipe that part. I was wiping it all out because I don't, I can still smell seafood. I'm about to wipe this part that I, that I just see that I missed. And I'm going to clean my oven and I'm about to mop this floor really quickly. So everything is in the trash and um, I sprayed that rug and I'm about to wipe it off. And I'm going to sweep and mop this part of my floor because we don't need um, to leave food and smells and you know, things like that on my floor. So, yeah, today's great. It's great. Great, great. Like I say, y'all, I'm really okay about not having the food because I didn't really, I mean, I wanted it. Don't get it twisted. I wanted it, but I didn't finish it from Men's Salon video. Yesterday, I didn't want it. The only reason why I was going to eat it right now is because it was the third day. I didn't necessarily feel like eating it, but I was going to eat it. So I wouldn't go to waste because that food's not cheap. But now I'm now I'm just here. And I have to wait till about three o'clock to eat unless I eat some like chicken salad. But I don't have no crackers for my chicken salad. Um I'm not cooking today. I'm not doing anything today. I'm gonna carry on Mother's Day on to Monday. I'm not cooking. Um yeah, it's just just a day. I want to get my nails done. I might do that later today. We'll see. But yeah, y'all. Let me send this picture to Salam and Lay. I took them a picture to show them my seafood on the floor. But you know what? No, let me turn my oven on. Do my oven. Oh, let me wipe that. Y'all, let me let me take care of this first because I was just about to go sit down and I got to get this stuff out before it sticks. Then turn my I'm not really dressed. Spray this. See it? Oh, wow, y'all. It's still... Oh, I still got food down there. I can't get to it. All right, y'all. So, I am trying to get myself together, right? And I was coming to get me some Boston Market. Now, mind you, I would have cooked, but I waited too late, and I didn't feel like cooking. So, I said, okay, I'm going to get some um, chicken and some spinach. And not do too bad. Yes, I was going to give me some sweet potatoes. But they're closed and they're grassy to be cut. Like, what is going on? Like, I can't even get a healthy meal. I was being my normal mama T self. My nephew called me. He had a new phone number. And he's a grown man. So, when he was like, what's up? I was like, who is this? Because I don't have no time for no game. I don't like like men calling me. Like, I didn't know it was my nephew, y'all. I was like, who is this? Aaron on tap. Oh, what's up? 
He got a new number, y'all. I didn't know who he was. Thought it was somebody. Oh, gosh. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I thought it was somebody trying to be fast. Oh, they were sweet. They let us go. I thought it was somebody trying to be fast. And, um, you know, I'm trying to go to, um, I had, Kiara had on her video, she went to, um, let me call Kiara real quick. I know it's dark, y'all. I know. I'm just going to show y'all a little bit of my food. I'm not going to, like, do a whole video of me recording me eating. But I want to show y'all what I'm eating. I've never had brisket before. I came to Mission Barbecue because Kiara came here the other day. And I wanted to try it. I've been before, but I have never had this. But her friend had a pulled pork. Um, no, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't have a pulled pork. He had a... He had like a um, pulled chicken. A pulled chicken sandwich. And it looked good. And I was going to get that. But I ended up getting a brisket sandwich. Because my brother loves brisket. And I'm just eating in the car. Because a friend of mine is supposed to be calling me in a minute. So hopefully... She calls me, but I got collard greens. Y'all couldn't really see it, but I got collard greens and baked beans. I'm about to eat it right here. I wash my hands with sanitizer. Father God, bless this food. Allow it not to harm my body in any way, but only nourish it. And I thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I'm sad. I always get like this with salam leaves, but this week is honestly harder than normal. Mmm. Baby, are good. Mmm. The colors are good, too. Let's taste this brisket sandwich. It's good. Need more barbecue sauce? It tastes like... Brisket just tastes like... Um, it just tastes like rib. <laughs> Like rib meat. My brother loves brisket. But he probably would. <clears throat> he'll probably say I messed it up. Because I put barbecue sauce on it. I don't know. He loves barbecue sauce though. Mm. See? I just like eating rib. This is good, y'all. I made me my own armor palmer. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Their cars are good. They're not sweet. But they're good. Not that cows are sweet. But they're very tangy. 